right, so uh, now I'm going to set the, the backlash um, with the adjuster type for it. It's, it's extremely simple. Um, what you're going to do, you know, you're going to get your pinion, your pinion set up with, uh, you know, all your torque settings and things like that. And take care of your, throw it in there, get the caps, put them on there, tighten them down, and get them in there. Get everything nice and snug in there, but not fully tightened and not fully torqued at all. Okay, you got to take the adjusters and adjust them in and get them, get the ring gear and then your pin, the pinion as close as you can. Okay, and you're going to mess with it a little bit, get it as close as you can where there's a little bit of backlash. You can hear it, you can feel it, it's in there just making a bunch of noise and stuff like that. Okay, you're going to get it kind of kind of loose like that and then you're going to set up your dial indicator and first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the driver's side and you're going to set the backlash or you're going to try to achieve a close, uh, close number on the backlash. So you're going to end up using the special tool, stick it in there, um, go clockwise with the adjuster tool and turn turn it in so that the, the ring and the pinion um, meet closer and close up your backlash and you're looking for six thousandths, uh, six, you're looking for six to eight thousandths. So I'm going to shoot for six, five, something really low and once you get that number then you can go take the tool out and you go around to the passenger side and you're going to actually torque that side to 75 foot pounds and that's going to preload the bearings spin it all around take some more readings and look at it and see where your backlash is you might have to go back and forth a couple times to get it just right but you're looking for about six thousandths okay i think the tolerance is on the high side is about eight but the lower you go the better because um, things are gonna get a little loose on you um, so yeah that's that's how we're gonna do it it's gonna be backlash and then preload and then after that after we got the backlash um, after you find the backlash you get it where you want it then you're gonna paint up the ring gear and you're gonna find out what kind of pattern you have like I've already done a little bit of that just so I can go back and make the video easier to understand and make sure I have it all set up where I can make the video um, a little bit better so I've already loosened it all up so I can start all over so as you can see I got my gauge all set up hopefully you can see the gauge it's all set up right there but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it in and decrease backlash check it and then once I get it I'll go to the other side and preload it it's that simple so right now I'll go to it and see kind of see what I got and already I have about 10,000 I can see it it's about 10,000 so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this in a little bit and decrease it see if I can decrease it Maybe they'll come up. Hopefully they'll come up. Let's see here. Get a little closer. All right. Let's uh, come up here. And I'm right about at six. Okay. That little turn, it already, you know, it already dropped at about four thousand. So I'm already about I'm about six. Uh, to make sure it's totally correct, you come in there and hold the pinion. Six, seven. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back again. I'm gonna come back and hit it. A little more, I'm gonna decrease it a little more because I want it tighter than that. And we're still looking at about six. And I want about five just to be safe. That's about five. Let's check it out. Yeah, I don't think that pops 
up. That's about five right there. All right. So I'm gonna go on the other side and I'm gonna torque that side to 75 foot pounds and put the preload on the bearings and then check it again. Five foot pounds. Okay. And it's not right. It's about ten, so it's going to take a couple times before you get it. over here. This is not right. I need to loosen take the preload off. All right. And I go to the other side and bring it in closer. Alright, so back and forth, back and forth. Tighten these bolts down to 100 foot pounds. All right, and then you can go ahead and recheck your pattern. Make sure you got a good pattern.
All right, so my pattern is pretty close to the middle right there. Uh, it's looking good on that side. And on the other side, it's a little in, but I'm gonna live with that. I'd rather have it in, uh, in the pinion a little too far in than too far out. Uh, I might decrease the, the back latch a little bit more to see if I can get a little bit different of a pattern to get it to, uh, the the coast side to come in or come in a little bit. So I'll probably go ahead and adjust that, but that will work. That's totally acceptable. So I can, that pattern looks okay. So to pull the old wheel bearings out, I'm using a little special tool. Uh, it has a, an adapter that, you know, goes in and it clamps onto the wheel bearing like that. And then you actually use a slide hammer to just, you know,